Hi, today I am going to show you one of the ways to have fine looking indie fonts. In one of my previous videos, I had talked about how one can type in indie fonts using Google services. This one is about how you can have multiple styles for your indie fonts, specifically Devanagari script which is a de facto script for Hindi, Marathi and Sanskrit. So first, you should go and check the Google Fonts page. Search for Google Fonts. You will notice uh, that on this page, uh, they have a plethora of fonts, mainly the Roman alphabet. They do have many other scripts as well. Uh, since we are interested in the Devanagari font particularly, we can check the exact catalog by selecting from the list. As you can see, there are a number of fonts here and they are way too attractive than the dull looking default fonts that we actually get most of the times. So uh, let's choose one of the fonts from the list. Well this seems interesting. Named after our beloved people's president Dr. Kalam I suppose. Now you can you can see if you start typing here, uh, you can actually have a similar looking Roman script. But once you start typing Marathi or Hindi using the desktop tool I have here, you'll notice magic. You can check this font by typing few more words. Kind of fun to type with this tool that I have here. Now the next step is uh, that you can mark this font. Here you have the import link. Uh, the CSS style as well you can actually tweak and customize it a bit select the bold and extended Latin version maybe now check this import link here Select the bold and I'm not entirely sure about it but just to be on safer side you choose you can choose this one. And the best part is you can actually download this font. Now there are two ways you can make use this font. The first way is offline. And the way you can use this one is you download this font, unzip it, then open the system fonts. And then you need to move the fonts which we have recently downloaded inside the system folder, the font folder. Just copy it and paste it inside. And as expected it needed only the font files.
Now the font is ready. Uh, but you need to check uh, just to, to be sure. So open the notepad, go to the fonts, change the font to Kalam. There it is. And start typing. If you are still wondering how am I typing in Marathi Hindi directly on my desktop, you should really check my other video on installing the offline Indic font tool. Nice and easy, just the way we like it. After this, uh, we are going to see the second method of using this font and it is the online mode or you can have it in your HTML pages. You see this link, you can copy this link and you can have it pasted in your HTML. Now here is my blog page, uh, I'll use it as a sample. Uh, don't worry, no one will notice if we screw a few lines here on there. As you can see, we have a default font here. Now I'm opening one of my blog posts. Uh, it's in Marathi as you can see. I can see both normal and HTML version of the post here. Now. Uh, I'll import the font. Just like this. Copying this text here and putting it into the block page. Uh, next I'll add all the text inside a div which will have a style. it from page lose the quotes need to close the div somewhere down here Yes, close the dip. And that's it. Now I update the page. And yes, just go on the page. And you'll see updated font here. That's it. My blog post now has Kalam font. How cool is that? If by any reason, if the Kalam font is not found on the page, it will still show the default font. So no worries on that front too. I hope you learned something new today. Post your queries and questions in the comments if you have any. Keep writing no matter what the language is. Thank you.